And welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Our first guest is the founder of the Ebony Ecumenical Ensemble, now in its 28th year. 30th, 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 33rd. 33rd year now. Whoa, okay. All right, we got to strike that and change that. 33 years, okay. We welcome Betty Forbes along with the senior minister, James A. Forbes, Jr. We welcome you guys to the show. And it's a pleasure seeing you. Good to be with you, Dr. Lee. Yeah, I yes. always see you at the Riverside Church, but you moved on from there. Across the street at Union Seminary. There you go. Uh -huh. And uh, another thing, I, I was speaking with my, uh, my general manager a while ago, and I heard you guys uh, talking about it, or I, I forgot how I heard about it, but you baptized our general manager. When I was pastoring, yes, when I was pastoring in Richmond, Virginia, years ago. Yeah. yeah. So you have this wonderful ensemble. And it started, you say, 33 years ago. I get it strike it because I see 28 all over the place, but 33. Mm -hmm. You started it 33 years ago, right here in the city? Right here in the city at Union Seminary. They were renovating their space to make it more uh, uh -huh. capable of reflecting diversity. And they asked my wife, Betty, could you get a choir together that would give us the black religious experience in a musical way? And she organized this choir for the reopening of James Chapel 33 years later. Here they are, still wow. singing the song. Now, Mrs. Forbes, we, we heard you uh, get, getting the group ready, the ensemble ready, and they're really kicking. I remember some words there, so I wrote it down. Jesus is the rock in a weary land. Yes, Jesus That's is the rock in, in a weary land. That's right. And Where that, we were planning to do something else, but... That's fine. That's improvise and do this yeah. without keyboards. People need to be yes. reminded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I heard another um, um, a piece in there. I uh, wouldn't be a, a backslider. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> i tell you the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been doing this for a while, yes. all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the people that you perform for, I mean, you were at Carnegie Hall. Uh, you guys performed for Nelson Mandela. Yes. She came to mm -hmm. Riverside. She came to Riverside. She came to Riverside. <coughs> yes. Yeah. And Desmond Tutu. Desmond Tutu, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And they've been traveling Brazil, Korea. They did uh, at with the New York Philharmonic. They did the mm -hmm. music of the uh, Porgy and Bess, the yeah. choruses of Porgy and Bess. So, so they've been getting around. Yeah, and, and they wanted us to ask you about the spirituality in your work. Mm -hmm. Well, Betty, you want to say something about that first? The spirituality in what? In your work. In our work, well, we, we, we have in our choir an ecumenical group, meaning they're from various churches, but they are all uh, have a uh, Christian background, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, and we try to sing uh, our songs out of our experiences uh, in terms of how we ought to be living. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That kind of thing, and, and, you and really so you feel it too. You can't just yes, right. come up off the street and yeah. sing to be singing. Sure. You have to be in it. You have That's to wear right. the shoes that you sell. That's right. That's right. That's a good <laughs> way to put it. I like uh -huh. that. Yeah. <coughs> and, and your point of view? Well, my point of view is that this group is uh, known for its extraordinary musicality, but when you got the combination of musicality and spirituality. Now that's a dynamite uh, yes, experience, yes. and yeah. when people come to Ebony's concerts, they say, we really love the sound, but we feel it in our souls. Yes. That's what makes it very special. And that's what you want them to take away. That's it. Right. That's, yeah. it. that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yes. So, um, and you've been all over the world with this? Been around. Well, been around. Not all over the world, but a <laughs> uh, really. little international Just travel like, and yeah. around the nation, mm -hmm. too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And, and how does it feel to be in, involved in this one thing for 33 years? Of course, you've been ministering for longer than that. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Well, it, it feels good that I was able to um, sustain an organization this long mm -hmm. and not have any major illnesses and still have some of the folks that started with me from the beginning, have mm -hmm. a few of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you uh -huh. open to, um, like, take on other people in the ensemble? Are, are sure. you looking for we, we're new always people? looking for new people, new talented folks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're live on TV <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> right. They can reach you at 
Well, <coughs> I think for it now they use my office uh -huh. to uh, do much of their communication, particularly about this concert mm -hmm. coming up yeah. on Saturday night, February 4th, the yeah. opening. Austos Community College? Austos yeah. Community, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So right now I'm asking them to use my office to get the word out and get the tickets sold and box office and all of yeah. that stuff. And that number is 212-280-1520. Yes. That's, as they say, say it again. <laughs> 212 280 uh -huh. mm -hmm. And um, is there anybody else performing with you guys? Uh, you yes. mean for that occasion? Yes. Oh, we, we've got a whole group. The group is going to be at least 40 people. Then there's uh, Kirsten, who is a special Kirsten. jazz Kirsten. violinist, Kirsten, who's uh, going to be Kirsten. performing. Of course, I'm working on getting my neighbor to come by and just do some. <laughs> <laughs> Candido, Candido lives yeah. in my apartment. So oh, I say, yeah. hey, come on over and, and give us a little uh -huh. uh, extra beat on that. Yeah. So it's going to be a fabulous occasion. Are you going to grace the stage? I'm going, to, I'm the chair of the committee. Now that feels, I, I have to support my wife on this, right? So I'm the chair. Yeah. I will welcome uh, the people to the event. I will introduce uh -huh. the group. Uh, I will have some opportunity to say words of thanks to people who have been supportive to us through right, the years. Right, right. So I'll be on the stage. Well, Dr. Forbes, you know you, uh, you have to get up there and, and uh, grace the stage and just warm it up for everybody. A little bit. No. <laughs> we have to mention this, that we, we yeah. will have some children singing with us also. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of his songs, Love My Children. You, and one of your songs you, you yeah wrote I wrote the song, the song oh. love my children but mm -hmm. they decided that don't just sing it bring children so I think they're gonna have about 30 children so that when we talk about love my children they will be there helping to sing oh, with this beautiful, choir beautiful. which is also intergenerational yeah. that the young people begin to experience the, the oh. musical uh, gifts of this group so this is mm -hmm. a family concert you can bring the whole family down. bring the oh, whole sure. whole family Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give us a date again February 4th at Ostis Community College at 7 p.m. Ooh, okay. 149 and Grand Concourse. There That's the go. most beautiful name of a street I've ever heard. Grand, Grand Concourse. Concourse. I, love <laughs> I love it. And make sure you bring down the uh, the cameras from uh, from BronxNet so we can capture a lot of this and we can play it back too. You guys are always welcome to come uh, back to the show and, and let us know anything that you want the public to know about. Okay. Thank Is you. there anything we missed? I think you covered it. Let's have so. a hallelujah good time. Yeah, yeah. And also, we should say, it is our effort. They come from Manhattan, but what we're trying to do is build bridges between the boroughs. Mm. It's time for Manhattan to come on and do their annual thing in the Bronx. There you go. So let's live it up. <laughs> can you, then wrapping us up, but can, you, can we wrap up with a word? Yes, a word is that we live in a time when if we're going to face the challenges, we're going to have to do it together. Mm -hmm. Isolation is clearly not the way to go. It is learning to move beyond our boundaries, embrace the gifts of others, mm -hmm. and then we'll be able to withstand the, the traumas of these times and also look forward to new possibilities in the days ahead. Yes, Mr. Mm -hmm. and Mrs. Forbes, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. We gotta take a quick break, but up next, we're gonna experience what? Up the Ecumenical Ensemble. They're going to perform for us right here on this very stage. Well, the stage over there. Coming up. Don't go away. Right here on Open. Okay. Beautiful.